Dank u wel. Dat komt niet. Hi you guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We are back in Chuesto Park today and we are building a clouded leopard habitat and it's not going to be extravagant as the, uh, or, or hardworking should I say, not extravagant, but hardworking as the last two it were habitats I'd done. The sunbear enclosure that I made, I felt like I was being a little bit cruel. I felt like I just kind of enclosed them into this um, awful, god awful like <laughs> environment for them, but I mean, they, they like the habitat, it was plenty of room in there for them and I gave them everything they needed, but I just, the more I looked at it when I was building this habitat, I could see it in the corner and I kept looking at it, I was like, I've built like this really grim industrial place and, but I, I, I don't know, anyway, we'll, we'll focus on this one, shall we? So, so for this episode, we are uh, obviously doing a cloud of leopards, as I said, sorry for repeating myself, and uh, I want to keep this one a lot more clean, a lot more simple, and it's not really really difficult build at all it was quite a simple build and it was just something i wanted to do make it nice and clean i don't know what is that what oh you you gotta be kidding me i'm not even gonna edit that out i've literally got my phone on the side i've got my watch off but i leave it on the side and i leave the screen on so i can see the time it has stepped on my watch and it has pinged my phone from the watch i i don't believe it this cat just evil 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 cat anyway back to the what we're talking about so yeah i just wanted to create a really simple habitat for the uh clouded leopard i want to make it nice and roomy for them as well and i used the plasterboard again it's going to be kind of the main theme for this um for this for this part this time because i like the customization where you can move them and you're not stuck to building on the grid so we're going to be using that quite often i will be changing the color of them as well but i kind of like the standard color it gives that nice sort of concrete look i know it's plaster but it does give off that nice brushed concrete and um yeah i just had to kind of i noticed that when i built the platforms inside the habitat when they was jumping they were kind of floating it took them like 10 seconds to jump across it was really strange actually but they liked it and um they seemed very happy and yeah i i was it was yeah it was, it was, yeah it was okay <laughs> so as always guys anyway i will leave it there i will let you enjoy the rest of the episode and if you like it don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up also let me know down below in the comments what you think and as always if there's anything you want me to build anything you want me to add anything you'd like to give me a challenge to build as well as always jot it down below and we'll see what we can do so again thank you guys and i shall hopefully see you in the next episode see you later bye bye <laughs> 